Hey everybody, this is Kelby Welby here and I'm going to show you guys how to install Optifine and shaders for RL Craft. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is have RL Craft installed and if you don't yet and need to know how to do that, I have created a video already on my channel that you guys can go check out. I'll put the link in the description. And from there you can watch this video and I'll teach you how to install shaders for RL Craft. Okay, now the first thing that we're going to do is download Optifine. For RL Craft, we're going to need version 1.12.2. Now you're going to want to go to optifine.net slash downloads, and it's going to bring you to this page. And then we're going to scroll down to Minecraft version 1.12.2 and get the latest update. And then we're going to click here, download. And then we're going to click here and download. I already have it, so I'm just going to skip that part. Now the next thing that we need is a shader pack. And Silder's Shaders is the pack that I use. Personally, I like it a lot. I think it's a great shader pack. So we're gonna go to silders-shaders.github.io slash downloads. I'll have the link to these in the description so you don't have to type them out. You can just go down there and click on them. And it's gonna bring you to this page. Now you can get the latest version, but personally, version 1.18 worked great for me and it works better than the latest. And so I recommend, you can see here, for, uh, depending on which type of graphics card that you have, what you can handle. Um, I could probably get these higher ones, but high is just enough for me. So I'm gonna click here, still there's Vibrant Shaders 1.18 high. And like I said, you can get any other version you'd like. They should work for you. But this is the one that I'm currently using. So, 1.18 high, click on it, and it's going to bring you to this page that's going to redirect us to the download link, and if it doesn't, you can click this link here. Alright, so, we're here at the Mediafire link to download uh, the shaders, and then we're going to click download, okay, and then they'll be in your downloads folder. I already have it on my desktop, so I'm just going to go here. Now we're going to need to go to our Minecraft folder. And if you don't know how to find your Minecraft folder where it was installed, you can open up your launcher. And then you can go to installations. And whichever um, installation, it really doesn't matter which one, you can pick the latest release, you can pick any version that you've installed. You can hit edit, more options. Actually, you can just hit browse here under game directory. And it'll show you, mine is in my user folder under my name and then app data roaming and then dot minecraft so so now that we have our minecraft folder open we're gonna see our mods file now now this folder um, may not be created by default one way that you can get it is to install forge and run forge on your minecraft launcher but you should have already done that by now if you have installed RL, RL Craft. And you can see how to do that in my last video. So now that we already have the mods folder, you can see all of our mods in here for RL Craft. And then we're gonna go to Optifine right here. You can find it in your downloads if you haven't moved it to your desktop. And then you're just gonna drag it in there. I've already done that. All right. Now, um, actually, you know what? Let's open up our Minecraft launcher now. Okay. And then let's run our RL Craft installation. And it should generate the shaders pack folder for you um, if you don't already have one. And then we're going to let the game launch. Okay. Now you can see that we have Optifine 1.12.2 installed as well as all the other mods for RL Craft. Powered by Forge because it's running using Forge. Then we're going to go to Options, Video Settings, and Shaders. And you shouldn't have these in here yet. You, you only have Off and in the internal shaders that come with Optifine. So what you can do here now is go to your Shaders folder. All right. And then we're going to want to take our Silder's Vibrant Shaders, and then just drag it into here. 
I've already done that, so I'm just going to skip that part. And then you're going to go back to your Minecraft launcher. And you should be able to see it in here now. And then you can choose that. Go to shaders options and change all the options that you want. Personally, I keep bloom off as well as god rays. I just think it gets a little annoying when the sun's shining in your face because it feels like you have a window open behind you and your screen just has this giant glare and personally it bugs me so I just keep it turned off. But yep, that's that's how it works. So we'll go into one of our worlds now and then show you how it works. All right. So this is Shoulder's Vibrant Shader Pack. And then if we go back to our shaders and we turn it off, you can see the difference. It takes a minute to load, so don't worry. Okay. Huge difference, right? I'll put a side-by-side -side just so you can see it, as well as the internal shaders. Alright, there we go. And then back to our vibrant shaders. Seriously, how can you not play with shaders? The difference is crazy and it makes the game extremely beautiful. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. And if it helped you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I started recently creating a new series for RL Craft, and the playthrough has been so much fun. If anybody has any other requests for tutorials, let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to make new videos. Alright, I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you for watching.